This is Doug Caldwell, University of Florida, Collier County Extension. It's Naples, Florida, early December, but it looks like springtime, say late March in Ohio, when the spring beauties are popping up everywhere. This pinkish white flower is a product of an evergreen viney plant. It goes by several common names. One is Florida Snow, another one is Large Flower Pusley. That name doesn't seem very appealing. Its scientific name is Richardia grandiflora. It's named for a botanist, Richard Richardson, who died in 1741. We're looking at it as a plant that invades harsh, disturbed areas and also areas where ground covers in lawns, such as St. Augustine grass, have thinned out. It thrives on very little water and doesn't need fertilizing. As the flowers start to open, they look like little hot air balloons. It's kind of a fascinating thing to watch them as they, they pop open. And then as they age, you can see the fruit, the reddish fruit here in this cluster. The individual red fruit contains several seeds which are about a millimeter long and each flower head has a large number of fruits so you can see how the seeds can collect on a mower blade or mower deck and can be easily spread around. So what do we do? I get calls from homeowners upset that their pristine St. Augustine grass has some weeds in it and it's our Florida pusley, also called Mexican clover even though it's not clover, but you can use herbicides. Atrazine is one, but you have to read the label. Certain formulations cannot be used in sandy soils and where there's shallow water tables. That kind of eliminates most of Florida. So read the label carefully. There's some newer herbicides that are more environmental friendly, but you may have to go to a landscape maintenance company to have those applied. On the other hand, just leave Florida pusley alone. It doesn't need much water. It doesn't need chemicals. It's a great nectar plant for bees and butterflies. And having a little diversity in your lawn means it's more sustainable. There's a new Senate bill, Senate Bill 2080, came out about two years ago that allows for using the Florida Friendly Landscape Principles, in other words, the right plant in the right place, and there could be some interesting developments as far as what you can use in your lawn. This bill overrides homeowner association covenants as far as landscaping goes, but there needs to be a meeting of the minds and an agreement on what is the right plant in the right place. This is Doug Caldwell helping you beautify your landscape and protect the environment.